Esomeprazole and Domperidone are two different medications. Esomeprazole is the S isomer of the Omeprazole which is classified as proton pump inhibitor. Domperidone is a dopamine antagonist which can be used as an antiemetic. However, both of these medications can be combined in a single capsule for treating gastroesophageal reflux disorder which is commonly known as GRD. GRD is one type of reflux disorder where the gastric acid is reflexed back into the esophagus. This results in the development of few symptoms like heartburn and a burning sensation in the chest, even regurgitation of the food leading to a sour taste in the mouth. It can also produce upper abdominal pain and chest pain. If it is untreated, people may also have difficulty swallowing, sore throat and even chronic cough can be produced. Bad breath is again another symptom of GRD due to regurgitation of the food into the esophagus. To treat this GRD, a combination of esomeprazole and domperidone can be given. These two medications can work better as one is going to reduce the gastric acid production and another one is going to reduce the gastric acid reflex. Therefore, this combination works better in relieving the symptoms of GRD. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about this formulation, how this combination of medications work, what are the important precautions that should be considered, what is a common side effect and how they are going to be administered. All such things we will discuss in this video. First of all, let us see how this combination works. Already we have discussed that S-omeprazole is the S isomer of omeprazole. That means it is a pure isomer of omeprazole which has more selectivity and less side effects compared with omeprazole. This medication acts as proton pump inhibitor. Normally, the gastric acid is released from the proton pump which is nothing but H plus K plus ATPase pump. This pump secretes a proton for exchange of potassium. That's why this pump is called H plus K plus ATPase pump. Chloride ions are secreted passively in this way. By activation of this pump, both H plus ions and Cl minus ions are secreted, leading to formation of gastric acid. The activity of this pump is going to be blocked by s omeprazole This medication is selectively accumulated into the acidic canaliculi where it is going to be protonated and in the protonated form it can inhibit the activity of this pump when this proton pump is inhibited gastric acid secretion can be reduced in this way s omeprazole can reduce the gastric acid secretion domperidone acts in different way it acts as a dopamine receptor antagonist dopamine plays an important role in increasing the gastric motility by acting on dopamine receptors now Domperidone can block these dopamine receptors, thereby it can reduce the gastric motility. It also acts as a prokinetic agent, that means it can control the gastric motility and restore the motility so that it can reduce the gastric acid reflex as well as regurgitation of the food along with the gastric acid in people with gastroesophageal reflux disorder. Since this medication reduces the gastric motility, it is also used as anti-emetic acid. In this way, the combination of s omeprazole and domperidone can work better in controlling the symptoms of GRD as they reduce the gastric acid secretion as well as they reduce the gastric acid reflex by inhibiting gastric reflex. Now, let us the precautions of these two medications. s omeprazole is a proton pump inhibitor. Therefore, this medication can interfere with absorption of few of the vitamins. Particularly, it can reduce the vitamin B12 absorption which may lead to vitamin B12 deficiency. This is common with many of the drugs that inhibit gastric acid secretion because in presence of decreased gastric acid secretion, vitamin B12 absorption is going to be reduced. However, this effect can be observed when this esomeprazole is used for very long-term therapy. Particularly when it is used for several years, it can produce mal absorption of vitamin B12. In a few people with pre-existing risk factors like malabsorption or vitamin b12 deficiency use of esomeprazole can further increase the risk and their effect is on the magnesium levels esomeprazole can reduce the magnesium levels in the blood leading to hypomagnesemia this may result in the development of fatigue 
and muzzle twitches. It can also produce few of the central effects like dizziness, confusion and even convulsions. Cardiac arrhythmias may also be precipitated by decreased levels of magnesium. In people with renal impairment, Domperidone should be carefully used because this medication is excreted in the urine. Therefore, in people with severe renal impairment, the half-life of Domperidone is prolonged. Therefore, on repeated administration or with increased dosing frequency, the levels of Domperidone are highly elevated in the body, leading to significant side effects. Therefore, in people with severe renal impairment, either dosing frequency should be reduced or dose may be adjusted to control the levels of Domperidone in the body. Domperidone can increase the risk of QT interval prolongation, even though it is rare but in people with pre-existing risk factors, use of domperidone may increase the risk. Particularly in people with ages above 60 years, the risk may be more pronounced. If you are taking other medications which increase the QT prolongation, again the risk may be increased. Using domperidone at doses greater than 30 mg again increase the risk of QT interval prolongation. Domperidone is metabolized by CYP3A4 enzyme. Therefore, CYP3A4 inhibitors like ketoconazole, erythromycin, clarithromycin, fluoroquinolones can also increase the risk of QT interval prolongation. If you have the metabolic conditions like hypokalemia or hyperkalemia, even hypomagnesemia can also increase the risk. When esomeprazole is used for longer periods, the risk of bone fractures may be elevated, even though it is rare in people with vitamin D deficiency or low levels of calcium the risk of fractures may be more pronounced. That's why whenever this esomeprazole is used for greater than one year, care should be taken to check any bone fractures. Particularly, it can increase the risk of hip, wrist and spine fractures. If you are taking anticoagulants like clopidogrel, they may interact with esomeprazole. Esomeprazole is a CYP2C19 inhibitor. This enzyme is responsible for metabolism of clopidogrel. Therefore, when you take the clopidogrel along with esomeprazole, the metabolism of clopidogrel is reduced, leading to its elevated levels in the body. This may produce the risk of hemorrhage. Therefore, clopidogrel should not be taken with esomeprazole. When this combination should be avoided? In a few situations, the use of esomeprazole and domperidone should be avoided, particularly in people with gastrointestinal hemorrhage or gastric perforation, use of domperidone can further increase the risk. In people with prolactin releasing pituitary tumors, domperidone should not be used. Similarly, in people with QT interval prolongation or significant electrolyte disturbances or underlying cardiac disease such as congestive heart failure, use of this combination is not recommended. Few people may get hypersensitive reactions with use of this combination. They may get anaphylaxis and angioedema leading to swelling of lips, tongue and pharynx. Even they may have bronchospasm and difficulty breathing. In such situations, this combination should be avoided. Now let us see the side effects of this combination. This combination can produce few of the gastrointestinal side effects like abdominal pain, constipation and even it can produce diarrhea as it modifies the gastric motility. It can also produce some headache dizziness and sleepiness. Few other side effects like dry mouth and skin rashes can also be produced. Now let us see what is the doses of this combination. This combination is available as capsules where each capsule contains two medications esomeprazole as well as domperidone. Here esomeprazole is available at a strength of 40 mg and domperidone is available at a strength of 30 mg. Swomeprazole is entric coated and domperidone is prepared as sustained release pellets. Fr that means from this, the medication is slowly released for a prolonged period. This capsule should be taken at least one hour before a meal such that it can control the gastric acid secretion as well as reflux into the esophagus. However, the beneficial actions of this combination can be observed after few days of the treatment, regular intake of this medication can show better actions on controlling gastric acid secretion and its reflex. So that's all about this medication, esomeprazole plus domperidone.
I hope this video is useful to you. If you really like this video, please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.